In this video tutorial, I'll be looking at 4.2, expanding bracket a plus bx to the power n. Now 4.2 represents chapter 4, section 2 of the Pearson A-Level Maths Pure Maths Year 2 textbook. Now over here, I've got a bracket of the form a plus bx. In 4.1, we had 1 plus bx. So this particular section covers a different form of question. Now, if you look at 4.1, I did go through a very important binomial expansion formula that you need to know, okay? And that formula is as follows. 1 plus x to the power n is equal 1 plus nx plus n bracket n minus 1 all over 2 factorial x squared plus n bracket n minus 1 bracket n minus 2 all over 3 factorial x cubed plus dot dot dot. Now, I would say that students need to know this formula, even though it's given in the formula booklet, because of the fact that it's not too bad to memorise. There's a certain pattern that we can see over here. We've got nx, then we have n, bracket n minus 1, over 2 factorial x squared, so that power 2 is equivalent to this number in the denominator 2, okay? Over here we've got power 3, which is equivalent to this number in the denominator 3, and what we've added extra is n minus 2, okay? So in the next term we will, we will have n bracket n minus 1, bracket n minus 2, bracket n minus 3, all over 3 factorial x to the power 3 and so on. That is the pattern. So I would say try and memorize the formula rather than going back to the formula booklet which will take time. Now, okay, suppose I had something like this over here. Square root 9 plus x. I want to expand this up until the x cubed term or maybe x to the power 4 term depending on what they say in the exam. The issue is that over here I've got 9, but in this particular form, my first term is 1. So this looks a bit tricky. I can't really use the formula at the moment. But what I'm going to do first of all is rewrite this square root 9 plus x in a different form, and that form is as follows. Bracket 9 plus x to the power of half. I need to say to myself, well, how do I make that 9 into a 1? Well, the way I do that is by factoring out a 9. So I can do the following. First of all, put square bracket and the power 1 over 2 outside. Okay, take out the 9, open bracket, 1 plus 1 over 9, x, close bracket. If I expand this, I just get 9 plus x and I've got my power 1 over 2. Now, the next thing that I can do, ladies and gents, is as follows. I can do 9 to the power of half, 1 plus 1 over 9, x to the power of half. I can take this a step further and simplify 9 to the power of half to give me 3, in bracket, 1 plus 1 over 9, x to the power of half. Now I can see that inside the bracket, the first term is 1, okay? Hence, I can now expand this bracket to the power of half using the binomial expansion formula. Once I've expanded this, I multiply each term by 3 as my final step. Okay, now for what values of x will this particular um, expansion become valid? Well. What I need to do is first of all write my modulus less than 1, okay? What goes inside the modulus is, well, positive 1 over 9x, which I can just write as 1 over 9x. Now, ladies and gents, you can actually split this mod into two parts, mod 1 over 9, mod x less than 1. Mod 1 over 9 is just 1 over 9, okay? Mod x less than 1 and then rearranging you get mod x is less than 9 
which is the same as writing x is between minus 9 and 9. Now we are going to look at some crispy exam questions. Here is the first exam question. f of x is equal bracket 5 plus 4x to the power minus 2 mod x is less than 5 over 4. Find the binomial expansion of f of x in ascending powers of x up to and including the term in x cubed. Give each coefficient as a simplified fraction. Very important. Okay? That last statement, to get your final mark, each term has to be in its simplest form. Right, over here, you have five marks to gain in the exam. Five juicy marks. Easy marks, ladies and gents. Right, so let's get cracking. First of all, I'm going to write my binomial expansion formula. So that's my binomial expansion formula. I need to have that in front of me in order to expand f of x. Okay, right. f of x is equal to bracket 5 plus 4x to the power minus 2. The first step is to factor out the 5. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Square bracket minus 2, take out the 5. Open bracket 1 plus 4 over 5 x. Okay, now once I've done that, I apply the power minus 2 to the 5 and to the bracket. There you have it. Now 5 to the power minus 2 is 1 over 5 squared, which is 1 over 25. Okay, bracket 1 plus 4 over 5 x to the power minus 2. Now this is looking beautiful. I can actually use the formula now to expand this because the first term is 1. Okay, so th that's what I'm going to do now. I've got 1 over 25 in bracket, okay, square bracket, 1 plus n, which is minus 2, okay, 4 over 5x, Okay, ladies and gents, uh, the x is replaced with 4 over 5x and the n is replaced with minus 2. Okay, so I'm putting uh, 4 over 5x and minus 2 into this formula over here. Okay, so I'm going to continue now. Plus minus 2 bracket minus 2 minus 1 all over 2 factorial. 4 over 5x squared. Okay, don't forget to put brackets around your substitutions. And the third, uh, well, the x cubed term will be minus 2 in bracket, minus 2, minus 1, minus 2, minus 2, all over 3 factorial in bracket 4 over 5x to the power 3. And the expansion continues, dot, dot, dot. Okay. What I need to do now, ladies and gents, is over here, I just simplify what I have inside the square bracket and then expand each term with 1 over 25. And once I've done that, I simplify my fractions and I obtain the following answer. 1 over 25 minus 8 over 125 x plus 48 over 625 x squared minus 256 all over 3125 x cubed dot 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 so these are the terms okay and we finish up to the x cubed term each of the fractions are simplified ladies and gents and that completes the question five juicy marks in the bank okay we need to pick up these marks they're not bad at all